project management is no easy fit okay so there are a lot of moving parts in here long hours and constant reporting so over here what we have is a timeline of milestones because it requires you to keep everybody on the same page and focus on the goals and timelines so this is actually one of the key reporting tools and I just want to show you on how is it possible okay, to create something like this inside Excel. So don't worry, I'll walk you through on how we can create this. So we have this data source over here that we are going to use to create our timeline of milestones in Excel. So we have the date, okay, and then we have the milestones and then we have the height over here, okay, because it specifies on how high do we want the milestone to show up in this chart over here and then we have the helper column is just used to help create the timeline so we have project kickoff which is height one okay so that's the lowest point and then we have development which is the highest point and you could see that depending on the date as well okay so the specific milestone appears actually exactly on that timeline as well okay and then we have maintenance at the very end which is november so we have november as well over here so let's get started and we just delete this so let's create this from scratch so the first thing is let's highlight and we just want to highlight specific columns so we have this one date okay and then we have height and the helper column so what i'm doing right now is i'm holding the control key so that we can select okay this three columns separately now let's go to insert okay let me just go here in recommended charts so that we can select the line chart okay and then let's go for line with marker so that's what we need over here okay so this one's the one that we need let's go okay okay so we're still far off so the next step is right click on your chart template and then choose select data so let me just right click here select data and then let's go for the helper column okay and press the up arrow we're going to be moving this up okay and then go okay the next step is select the blue lines okay which is this one the height okay so we we'll select the blue lines and then right click and then change the series chart type so let's go for series chart type over here this is where the magic starts to happen so under the all charts tab over here select the combo chart okay so we have this one and then from the height drop down select the clustered column okay so let's look for a column clustered column that's what we need okay and then check the secondary axis box so this one appears right now and then for the helper column just make sure that we have line with marker selected okay and then the secondary axis box is unchecked so it's looking good let's go okay so let's make this a bit bigger so that you can see it clearly so the reason why we did this is so that our heights will show up as columns in our timeline which is what we have over here okay now select the blue column chart and right click and then add data labels okay so let's select this one over here so now you have one two three four three two one okay so it's looking good so the height numbers are now showing up it's not what we need what we want is to have the milestones appear over here so let's right click any of the height numbers over here so let me just select right and right click and then select format data labels so we're going to be changing this now to show something different so under label options so we have over here okay make sure that the value from cells is selected okay and that's the only one that should be selected so let me just remove this values themselves okay and then it's gonna ask for getting the values right so let's select this milestone column over here let's go okay and then make sure that the label position okay is outside then let's look over here let me just remove the leader lines as well the problem is i selected the range incorrectly so let me just change this right let me just move this range to this one because I included the column header. Let's go OK. And now we have the correct labels, right? We have project kickoff, requirements gathering, design, development, quality assurance, rollout, and maintenance. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so now 
we have everything in here and now let's change the columns into thin lines so we will be using error bars in here so let me just close this so click anywhere on the chart template and then go to design right add chart element and then let's select error bars over here error bars and then more options more error bar options and now we want it to be based on height let's go okay right so you could see there's some lines sticking up over here but we'll change that okay so from the format error bars pane over here you could now see the error bar options and then let's set the following let's go to minus okay for the direction and then for the end style make sure it's cap okay and then for the error amount make sure that it's a hundred percent so that it's going to be the entire column over here so you could now see right your error bar has now extended all the way throughout your column okay so we're getting close now that we have thin lines inside the column chart let us remove the blue columns okay because we just want this line to show up so how do we do that let's just right click on the blue column chart okay so just right click on the column chart over here let's go format oops i've selected the error bar so make sure it's the column chart okay so now select format data series over here now we just want to make sure that we want to select the fill bucket over here let's go to fill and then go for no fill so it's going to be empty right now and go to border same thing select no line okay it's looking pretty good right now we just need to do the finishing touches so let's just delete the other labels that we don't need so for example we don't need the numbers let's say you don't need the title let me just delete this let me just delete the numbers right because we just want the dates right and the project milestones over here and then you could also delete the lines as well if you don't need that so let me just select that delete as well and there you have it you now have your own timeline of milestones over here and you can change the data source if you want to display something different in the chart